Hello guys, it's the Orangutan here, and today we're going to be back with another game rules and reviews. This time we're going to go through Snakes and Ladders, a classic game. Um, use, uh, when I was younger, I actually used to play this a lot. I uh, actually got another version of this. It is, I have many versions of this, actually I have two versions. But both of them don't have, uh, both of them are just boards. This one is much special, uh, much more special. You see, you can build these, you know, they're little balls as your, as your characters, as you move. So, so for four and over, two to four players, it takes about ten minutes to set up and play. These are Japanese boards, I do not know what they mean. So climb the ladders, but watch out for the snakes. Seems pretty simple, right? It's it's a classic snakes and ladders game. And then here, it's the back of the box. These two girls are just playing together. It's really fun. I got this from Toys R Us as well. Mm, this Toys R Us, uh. I got it for like hmm, seven bucks, I think. Yeah, seven bucks. It's a really good offer for a, such a such a game. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, okay, I've already unboxed this before, so so the products are a little messy. Okay, so what do you got in here? So this is the box. I opened it. Up, oh, we've got a set of instructions, which is how to set up the game because there are some letters. This is the board itself, and then you've got these little tiny pieces. You've got four balls, all of the primary colors. Uh, well, green isn't a primary color, but I don't know if green's a primary color, but either way, it is in this game. So there are designated color spots for your colors. So red goes here, green goes here, yellow here, and blue. And now this the dice is a very creative dice. You don't shake it. You don't shake it. You can press it, press it down, and I'll make it go like that. Yeah. So you press it down like that. So how it goes onto the board is like this. You put it down over here. And then you twist it to make sure it holds it, to hold it down. And then you've also got these little guys, which are the extra ladders. So you can see there are two ladders already set up. There's one over here and one over here. Both advancing you 13 steps, steps. And there are five snakes on the board. So these two extra ladders actually account... Mm, and you have different shapes to tell you which one belongs to which. So, there are, for example, here you've got a, I don't, I don't know what that is, but I believe that is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a, I don't know what it's got about a centagon. I think it's called a centagon. This one is a hexagon, six sides. This is a, I don't know my shapes well, I don't know these stuff. I believe this is a pentagon. I don't know. I think this is a hexagon. This is a hexagon. This is a sexagon. And this is a pentagon. So basically, there's a number of sides. This one's a square. So four sides, five sides, six sides, and seven sides. And here you've got the back. There are the different shapes to tell you which one goes with which. So there are two other ladders. I'm going to be setting up this smaller one first, which is uh, basically a 90 degree thing. It goes, let me check the instructions. It says it's uh, 
replace it from step 16, uh, sorry, step 42 to 59, okay, so 42 is over here, so uh, you're supposed to insert it this way, so 42 to 59, just like that. Now we have the six side one over here. This one goes over here. And then the square, the square guy, goes over here. So, and then you connect the ladder using this guy. Make sure these shapes are the same. And I'll, after this, we'll do a space by space review of the thing. So, once it does that, and it goes here, and you can connect it to the other side as well. So it's like a downhill board, as you can see. I'm gonna put it here because the bed is a little unstable. And I can't really get the ball to move. So, right. so this is how it looks like, this little ladder over here. Now we're gonna set up the other ladder, the longer ladder. It says, from step 16 to 48. So 48 is over here, 16. So logically, the taller one will go here. And then the five-sided one goes to, yeah. I think it's the five-sided one. No, it's the seven-sided one will go to 48. And then you connect it as usual. From here, okay, wait, no, like that. I like to do it like that before you put this here. Okay, wait, hold on. Not to 47, it's to 48. Or you can also do it backwards and pretend there are snakes. That's the fun thing about this. You can put that thing anywhere you want, and then that can become a snake. And, then, and that twists the game a little bit, so you don't advance that far. So here are the two ladders, along with the four marbles. We're going to do a little game with ourselves. So, as well, uh, now we go into the game's rules itself. Um, so, for example, because there's only, uh, you figure it out, see, these things are, like, really small. It only fits one marble. It doesn't fit two. So, if, uh, if a player land, uh, happens to land on the same space as another marble, the the person who landed there last gets to move to the next available space. Same for the ladders. So like you're you're gonna be really lucky if you're the one here. So if you roll a two, someone else rolls a two, you come here, uh, here, and then you can go all the way from here to the other side. Same goes for here. Oops. Okay, like that. It will go all the way. And after you reach to the end, this space, 72. Um, so one, all right, so yeah, 72 is the end. And now we'll do a little, uh, we're not gonna do a little game. We may do a little game uh, time in the future, but now we're just gonna do a space by space review. One is normal space, two, is a ladder. You can go from 2 to 15. Then 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the bottom of the snake. So if it, you're at the bottom of the snake, you don't get to go up the snake. That That's just... It doesn't work that way. So 7, 8, 9, all the way to 13, and you get a, to another bottom of the snake, which is a very short snake. It's the shortest snake of them all. 14, 15. 15 is, of course, the end of ladder the end of the ladder 16 yes it's the long ladder all the way to space 48 17 is the start of the snake you will go down by four spaces to 13 18 19 20 and you see this gap over here this is not a space 21 is over here and 22 23 and finally you're to the top of the snake 24 so 24, you can go up from here all the way down to 6. 18 spaces down. 25, 26, 27, 28. Pretty normal. 29, you get to the bottom of another snake. 
30, 31. This is not a space, obviously. It's the dice. Yeah, so you can just press it down like that. Just to recap. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And then 39 is the start of the snake. It's a 10 space. You go 10 spaces backwards if you go down the snake. 40, 41, 42 is the another the other big ladder that makes you go all the way to space 59. So it's a 17 space advancement. And you got 43, 44, the bottom of another snake. 45, 46, 47, 48, which is the end of this huge ladder. 49, 50, 51, 52, all the way. Nothing really happens here. There's a bottom of the snake at 52, all the way to 57, where you see this ladder, which is also a 13 space advancement, all the way to space 70. And 58, 59, which is the end of this ladder. 60 is where you go down the snake. It's a 16 space. You'll go down 16 spaces here. So still the most uh, severe snake is this one. This one is 18 spaces. And 50, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 66, you go down to 52, which is a 14 space disadvantage. 67, 68, the elusive 69, 70, 71, and finally the ending space, 72. And once you reach, so you need to roll an exact number in order to get there. So, for example, I'm at 69. Sorry for the reference there. And I roll 4. So, I can just do that and then roll down. That, 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 you have to go back to 71. And then once you roll down, I like this part where you roll down. You, it's from here all the way down and you go here. And then there's a little ledge here to stop the marbles as well. So overall, this game, I usually I have any house rules for this game, but uh, in this case, we I don't have this any house rules for this one. We just follow the actual rules. You don't really, if you are really familiar with snakes and ladders, I don't think you need the instructions at all. Maybe it's just to set these up, but apart from that, you don't really need the instructions. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll play a little game of this with Kate. I'll see. Oh, yeah. And I. She really wants to be on one of my videos again. So, yeah. Fulfill her request. Why not? And we'll see you next time. Bye.